Any goodies and goodies? I'm Mai the Drag Queen. How you doing? I hope you're all well and safe. Welcome to Confessions of an Indian Drag Queen. I know it's been a very long time, but I have a lot in my mind to say. And so here it goes. We all have friends and we have great relationships with people, right? We meet, hang out, go drink, have great experiences together. At times we meet many people that we don't have that much connection with. We just like they are just passing by friends, if I have to say it like that. But we need to make a constant effort to make a connection with them. Why are we friends with them? What is the reason that we are, you know, connecting with them, you know, emotionally? So even you come to a point where you ask this question, are you or are they a word to be a friend? Now you must be wondering why I'm talking about all of this. Um, I went from a full-blown groupie phase to just two or three meaningful friends and a few acquaintances. Um, during this whole full-blown groupie phase, it was during the time when I was famous, or I am famous, at least in Bangalore I'm famous. So that is when everybody was like, oh my god, you're so famous, come let's take a selfie, uh, come let's hang out together, I want to meet you, I want to talk to you, all of that. And honestly, during this whole facade of attention and fame, I just felt lonely. I just felt like as if nobody's listening to my thoughts. Everybody was in that whole facade, oh my god, famous person, I'm with a famous person. But nobody really wanted to know who I am. And that is when, you know, it was like, you know, the universe just heard my prayers. And they started saying, you know, you deserve true friends. You don't deserve these kind of friends. And that is exactly what happened with me. Um, a lot of you know, group dynamics didn't make, you know, mix. I was not gelling with a lot of people. And at this end of the day, I end up being lonely within these four walls. Like how we experienced in lockdown, I experienced it earlier. And it, it, was, it was really, really um, heartbreaking. But I went through it. Now, after this incident, I made it a point to meet people on one-on-one -on -one basis to know them, to understand them, so that they can do the vice versa with me. Um, they will understand you, they will know you, they will understand you better as a friend, they will know what is right and wrong for you, what you like and what you don't like, they will understand your vibes better, they will know that, oh my god, this person is true to who he is. And a true friend will appreciate honesty, so always be honest to yourself, always stand true to who you are, and that is something which we miss these days. You know, why get entangled in all these unwanted, complex friendships? Why? It's a waste of energy at the same time. <laughs> now, oh god, I came up with confessions, now it suddenly turned into an advice-giving session. <laughs> but uh, at least I started off with this note because I wanted to share it with everybody that I know. That always appreciate a true friendship and never give up on it. Because a true friendship is really hard to find. You can't find friendship. It's easy to find many friendships, but a true friendship is really hard to find. On that note, I'll see you in the next episode, okay? So see you soon! Bye! Hello everyone! Oh, you know what? This Maya the Drag Queen is getting ready for her next video. You know what to do in the meanwhile. Um, you know, go like, share and subscribe and also watch her videos. It's easy. Lady Pai! This Ammachi unknown old Ammachi keeps calling me every time. Chalo, I'll go, okay? Bye.